I've been working on these two saws to clean them up. They're both distance. I'm not sure how well the etching is going to show up. But this one, I've actually, the bottom one here, I've taken apart. And it's just some fascinating stuff. The handle, the shape of everything is just, it fits so well in your hand. And just the way they made these things, I'm not sure if it's focusing or the camera's picking that up. But the uh, all these parts were cast. I'm not sure if they're bronze. You can see the, the distant logo there. I'm not sure if the, if the camera's focusing on this or not. I can't really see it. But anyhow, it's a distant saw probably from the late 1800s, early 1900s, definitely pre-World War One. And you can just pick up the etching here. I'm trying not to get the glare on it. And basically the etching comes down or came down at one point and the saw's the saw's been sharpened so much that it's actually eating into the etching so it probably started off somewhere about here. This is a distance saw as well and you can see the handle is quite different. Designed as a as a ripped saw. Also from the, the tooth pattern you can see it's designed to chisel out teeth. A distant as well and you can just make out the etching here and they're both D8s. And it's just interesting how the saws have evolved from basically handles that are just beautiful to hold and to use and later on they kind of started to get a little bit different, a little bit more blocky, not as carved and through the years they basically gotten more blocky especially around this area here until we get to something like this and finally this one here so it's almost a, a de-evolution of the saw and on this one you can actually make out the full size of the etching so you can see where it would have been on that older saw and at least like an inch and a half two inches from the bottom of the blade or the plate where's this one yeah it's definitely been sharpened a lot so this saw has definitely seen some action and I haven't cleaned it up too much just to get the grime and everything off the handle and it's kind of like starting to chip apart here a little bit as well. But everything's brass or bronze. And just in really nice condition. Beautiful saws.